Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Maggie. Today I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys all of my Hoyas. So basically my Hoya collection. I believe I counted 21 Hoyas and then I have some others that I'm not showing just yet because they're not ready to be shown. Um, but yeah, I believe I have 21 Hoyas. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And in no particular order, I'm going to go ahead and start with this beauty right here. And this is Hoya Linearis. And yes, of all these Hoyas, this one is one of my favorites. It's just beautiful. It hangs low. And I just actually repotted it from a 6 inch nursery pot into a 4 inch nursery pot. And it was just way too much soil. I got this from Plantarina and she said not to repot it. But I decided that I'm just going to chance it because um, the soil was, you know, just not good quality. <laughs> it, there was no um, air flowing through it. There was no perlite. There was no orchid bark. It was just like peat moss. Um, so yeah, I was just not a fan of it. So I repotted it. Whether I should or not, it is what it is. So that is Hoya number one. Hoya number two is Hoya Crimson Queen. And I actually picked this up some time ago from a, a local nursery back in the fall. And I remember when I first seen this, I thought I hit a jackpot because I seen the outer variegation. And I was like, whoa, that's an expensive Hoya. And then I picked up these like two, uh, two two inch pots for like $3.98 or something and then potted them together and yeah. It's just a Crimson Queen, but at the time I was stoked to find it. Um, next up, we have Hoya Wiedii, and I actually just repotted this one as well. It was two four inch pots. The roots on it were really, really good, um, but I decided to pot it up into a six inch pot. So that is exactly what I did, and I'm hoping that this summer it's going to go ahead and start trailing and just looking beautiful. Actually, this is, technically this isn't Wayetii. I believe I said Wayetii, but it was sold to me as Cantiana Variegata. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and call it, Cantiana. Next up, this is just the regular version of Hoya Wayetii, and it's just really, really cute. Um, and nothing fancy, but I love the outer variegation that's like this dark maroon, darker green color. And it has so much new growth coming in. It's insane. Next up, we have another one of my favorites. And this right here is the beautiful Hoya Cali Mantan. Cali Mantan. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's just stunning. It does have a couple uh, blemishes and bruises and scars and things like that, but I'm sure once it produces new growth, it's going to be even better than the old growth. But it is absolutely huge. All right, next up, we have Hoya Polynera, Polynuera, something like that. Um, and I actually got these two separate little stems. At the time, they both had four leaves each. Yes, four leaves each. And they've grown quite a bit. This one already has six leaves, and this one has six leaves, and they're about to have their new two leaves coming in. It is super dainty, and I just love the texture of it. Next up, we have uh, this a little Hoya. And this Hoya right here is the Hoya Eskimo. It does have the little bit of the variegation, the splashes, but it's not as splashy as the Super Eskimo. But regardless, it's really cute. And it's in this little um, cement skull. It belongs to my husband and he wanted a plant inside it. So I put this plant in there and it's in his office. Next up, okay, I got done with all those. This one is one of my absolute favorites. It's so much, so much. It's really easy to come by, but it is my 
favorite. This is the beautiful Hoya Abo Vada. I actually shared quite a bit of the cuttings from this one. Um, what is that? And I even took, so like right here it's very full, and then towards the back it's kind of empty. Um, so I did a lot of cuttings and I pulled some pieces that were rooted and shared them with friends. But this is one of my favorite. The leaves on this are absolutely massive and it continues to give me new growth, which I absolutely love. Alright, next year <laughs> is this beautiful Hoya Australis Elisa. And I adore this plant. I actually got this plant from the plant farm in Washington. And I actually got three little two inch pots or four inch pots, but technically the pots were just way too big for them. So I went, go, went ahead and just planted all three of them into this little four inch pots. And I just love it. It is beautiful Hoya. Okay, I probably am overusing the word beautiful, my favorites, but they're Hoyas, so technically they're all my favorites. Um, but next up, we have uh, this gorgeous little lady, and this is Hoya Mathilde, and it's just dainty. The little leaves are very similar to the Abovada, except these are way, way smaller. They're about the size of a thumbnail and I'm very excited about this. I originally got this from a woman from Facebook and it's about to give me some new growth right there. So I'm stoked. All right, we're gonna leave those toward the end. Next up, all right, I think my dog is finally done barking. But right up next, we have this beautiful, beautiful Hoya Bella Variegata. I have this in a little two inch nursery pot. Basically all my Hoyas are in plastic nursery pots and then I just use little cash pose as a decor. Um, but this is absolutely stunning. I'm in love with it. Maybe one day I'll have a really, really big one. We'll see. Next up, we have this beautiful Hoya Patsy Chang Mai. I got this also from the same lady that I got my Hoya Mathilde. Well, I didn't get it. I purchased it from her. Um, and it originally came with a sphagnum moss. She was rooting it in and I didn't like how it looked. So I ended up re-rooting it in a water and I think it's looking finally better. Once like Hoyas become a very woody, um, it's very interesting, but it's very easy to like crack them. And when it came to me, it just wasn't looking its best. So now we have Hoya Pati Chiang Mai that I am very excited about. And hopefully that one will give me new growth too. Um, I've seen it going on Etsy for quite some money. And I got it for 15 bucks, which I think is a complete steal. All right, we are down to like our last eight or so Hoyas. This right here is the beautiful Hoya Elbow. Parasy? No, not Parasy. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put this one on the screen, but it's just absolutely beautiful. It is just giving me some new growth up here. And yeah, I love it. When I picked up this one, it had one of its leaves right here damaged. And I originally thought that I was going to go ahead and cut that leaf off, but I'm really, really trying to not cut leaves off just because, especially when it comes to Hoyas. And I did it, and I'm glad I did it. All right, next up, we have one of my Hoyas that I purchased early on this year of January 2020. And this is the beautiful Hoya Fungii. And I just produced this new leaf right here. And I, ooh, oops, some soil spilled. And I really, really like this one that when I seen another Hoya Fungii going on Facebook Marketplace, like a purge site, I decided to pick it up um, and it looked completely different in pictures versus what it came looking like. And so I unboxed it 
and this is what I received. Yeah, not too happy about it. I don't know if you guys could see all those marks and things like that, but I mean, it is what it is. It's living its best life now, I guess. <laughs> but I potted it up and I'm just gonna wait for new growth. Oh, wait. <gasps> Speaking of new growth, <gasps> okay, well, I guess this little guy has something going on because it's about to get some new growth. Okay, I like it now. <laughs> um, the next up, we have Hoya Rotonda Flora. This is, is such a cute little Hoya. I was on a hunt for it for quite some time, and then I actually asked my friend LV to pick it up for me and she was so sweet and she did and now we have two four four new leaves coming in and I just love it so it's really really cute next last three Hoyas this right here is Hoya oh is that nope that's not new growth okay that is Hoya sigillatus or sigillatus something like that one or the other and the splashing on this is beautiful. I got two new leaves from it and the leaves come in like this pinkish, purplish hue and then fade to like a green color. So that's how like dark purple like that and then they eventually fade to like this forest green color. But I really really like that one. I would love to get a trailing one. Um, and this one is a very cute little Hoya. It is Hoya Obscura. It is very cute, especially when it gets uh, sun stressed. It just gave me out a new leaf right there and it's about to have more growth. Um, so I'm very excited to see more leaves on that one. And then uh, last but not least, I believe I got through everything with the exception of this one. And I actually just cut this one yesterday. Um, okay, uh, this is one that I also am not too sure of the name. Um, I know the name, I just can't think of the name because um, it's not like a Hoya that I talk about. Um, but I just cut it, I got it from my friend Da. And look at that, it's just so fuzzy, so cute. Um, but it wasn't looking its best and yesterday I was looking at all my plants I noticed that in a couple of the stems it was like wounded and because of this Hoya was woody as well um, I just decided to give it a fresh start and if it survives it survives if it doesn't it doesn't um, but it did have roots already going off um, on the stems that weren't in the soil so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and place it in this two inch pot and just see how that goes wait one more Hoya actually and this is my least favorite Hoya like I love it I love the shape of it I love the variegation on this Hoya it's beautiful um, but this Hoya just not, does not love me. It just didn't come in the greatest condition. Um, I mean, I guess it doesn't look that bad, but some of the uh, leaves are wrinkly and just looks kind of sad. Um, this is Hoya Variegata Hindu Rope. I mean, as you could kind of see, it is just so cute, like trailing down. It reminds me of braids and I absolutely love wearing braids and it's just so fun. Um, but the leaves just get wrinkly on me and um, apparently, you know, if leaves wrinkle, you need to water it. Maybe there's root rods. I mean, I've checked and done just about everything I can with this Hoya, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in my greenhouse. Um, I just got a greenhouse yesterday, which I'm so excited because I'm looking at it right now. And I think this is going to be my new spots that I'm gonna permanently go ahead and film videos in so I'm excited about that um, but those are all my Hoyas for today like I said my collection is definitely gonna grow some by the end of the year um, but I'm excited because if you guys seen me share with you guys my Hoya wish list some months back some of those Hoyas were on that wish list and now I actually have them in my possession which I'm excited Stoked, stoked, excited, stoked about. 
Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And go ahead, tell me what's your favorite Hoya. Why don't you like Hoyas if you don't like them? And yeah, I'll see you guys next one. Bye guys.